I obviously announced it on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. I got so much amazing sport and everything, and all my friends, ex-teammates, so much of the rugby community, it was overwhelming. Has put a nice message. Dylan put like the spud, like a spud in some love, and my missus was asking me, she's like, what's the spud about? And I was like, I was like, my nickname when I was in England was Spud Man. She was like, why? She's like, oh, because hask ashy dills kind of corner over there so i look like a sack of spuds and then i like wrestling so i kind of turned the spud man and i was like well it's kind of better than my older nickname that has gave me which was the baker she's like why the baker she's like why the baker and i was like it's because when i turned up at england camp initially it has said i look like a fat italian baker she mugs me off more than you has you're a cancer sufferer you can't because people will just edit out the bit that happened before it'll make out i'm doing it to you now there'll be another firebomb in ireland sort of quote for haskell um yeah. but no, do you remember that? honestly you remember yeah i remember that, that mate i do remember that quote. fuck you've got good memory selective said- editing she mugs me off and she, she she appreciated that she appreciated the band so that's why i dropped it in there i thought has would appreciate cool i completely <laughs> forgot that i used to i genuinely i forgot i called you the baker Every time we walked in, the fucking out. I'm such a prick. I'm so sorry. I appreciate the support and the vibes, like, but you don't want to be a victim, mate. Like, and and when you you want to be a fighter, to to quote Bill Bezik, victor or fighter mentality. And so uh, for me, that's kind of what I've I've embraced. And if you look at sort of my daily journey and everything I go through, I see people in so much worse positions for me sitting in these chemo sessions. You know, I sat four hours today on a drip, six hours yesterday. I feel like quite lucky when I come out of there, when I'm in there, because I'm physically young, strong, and able to handle the chemo, which is going to kill the cancer, hopefully, but it also is physically very taxing. With there's other people that are fighting a constant battle to just be healthy enough to continue the chemo that might, might keep them going. And a reality that I'm not sure a lot of people know, but during COVID, there's no one allowed in the cancer center with you. So usually people have their family around them, distract them, talk to them. Now you've got to sit in a chair for six hours with a mask on the whole time and no one there. So there's a lot of people going through some tough times right now. So for me, I don't actually need any sympathy. Like I am getting through it. I've got people around me. Physically, I'm going to smash this. And, you know, I'm just grateful that, you know, I'm able to catch it early and, and the prognosis is good for me.